Fox Trap Mike, John and Oshkosh, and Ball Trapping. Good evening. Net Control. Net Control, here is November 9, Sierra, Echo, Alpha, Morning Omro, no traffic, good evening. Control, this is Whiskey India 9, Mike, 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 Mike in Appleton. Power to the mics, no traffic. All right, this is a good time to take a pause and kind of review everybody that's here. Uh, the net has recognized KB9 RPH. KB9UKA, KE8KWF, DC9XW, W5PZO, KE7SZB, KC9TFM, N9CEA, KD9RPW, WI4WD, N9TNW, KC9VLP, and Whiskey India 9, Mike, Mike, Mike. Are there any other check-ins for this evening's net? Please call KC9 THF, your net control. Net control, this is November 9, Fox Trot Tango, Fred India. more this evening, uh, N9FT and W9LEX. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, all right, so we're going to move on to our second go. During this time, you can ask technical questions, list radio items for sale or wanted, but please no haggling on the air, do an equipment review, or discuss other topics. And um, my question this evening is, do you go to the grocery store or do you have food delivered? Uh, up first, we're going to have Greg in Grand Chute, W-I-G-C-S. All right, it sounds like Greg was just short time here. Uh, next up, we have Dave, KB9RPH. Good evening, Donna. Thanks for doing the event. And everybody on the event, hope everybody's having a good night. And I uh, hope you have a good week, the rest of the week. Uh, as far as the food service goes, uh, a little of both, I guess. Uh, once in a while, I order stuff. Well, I order food stuff sometimes through Amazon. They, they ship out, you know, like box dinners and things like that. And, and then the rest I get from, from the outside the house. So, most of it. So, other than 
that. Not a whole lot going on here. Looks like the fishermen are going to have no year early. <laughs> I, I am sorry to see that. It's fish, fishing around here was a big thing for all these years, and now I'm just get this weather like this. So it's kind of a blow, I guess. So with that, we'll turn it back to you, Came in on our page. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, I saw a drone uh, footage of Lake Winnebago, and it was just sad to see all the ice all broken up like it is. All right, next up is Kyle, KB9, UK8. Yeah, Kyle and Menasha here. Uh, I was going to say, my wife, uh, she occasionally has food delivered here, but uh, sometimes she also will pick it up but she rarely ever goes back into the uh, grocery store anymore. She usually orders it online and then picks it up. So it, it just uh, lets people that way. Uh, KD9, UKA, clear. Excellent, excellent. All right, next up we have Jean, KE8, KWF. All right, good evening, everyone. KEA, KWF. I can say that I have never, ever in my life ever ordered food and had it delivered. I think maybe once or twice I've even only done a DoorDash or anything like that. So, never any groceries. I always go to the store myself and whatever. I think we've uh, maybe done the Walmart type pickup in line and out of the car maybe a couple times when they've had specials. But pretty traditional on our food purchases around here, I guess. Other than that, I'll turn it back over to you. Thanks for the net, Dono. KE8KWF. All right, next up we have Doug, and I've got uh, DC9XW, but perhaps you could correct me on that call, please. Control, this is AC9XW, Doug and Ribbon. Um, Thank you. Um, normally we just go to the grocery store and pick up food, um, but delivery for like pizza and stuff, yeah, that's pretty, that's, that happens quite a bit. Um, I don't think I've ever done a pickup um, at the grocery store. I think maybe once local grocery store drop uh, delivered to us, but that was not really something we normally do. We just go and shop normal. So um, 73 and back to you, Donna, and uh, hi to Donna's little brother. Doug, he waved at you. All right, next up we have W5PZO, Marlon. Oh, good evening, Donna. This is W5PZO, and thanks for hosting tonight. And hello to everybody else that's on. I'm afraid we're pretty old-fashioned. We still go to the grocery store. Uh, we've talked about to pick up like at Walmart or someplace, but we still go pick it up ourselves right now. And uh, it's getting tougher as we get older, but we get used to it. So back to you, W5PZO. Thanks, Marlon. Next up, we have the aforementioned little brother, KE7SZB, Mike. Hey there, Net Control. Yeah, this is KE7SZB, Mike, uh, normally from Portland, Oregon, but here today in Appleton visiting family, and uh, uh, we're sort of a hybrid. We uh, order the stuff online, and then we go to the grocery store and have it put in our trunk for us. So that's kind of the best of both worlds. And back to you, big sister. Next up, we have John in Oshkosh, KC9 TFM. Good evening, everyone. This is John, KC9 TFM in Oshkosh. Uh, we always go grocery shopping at the store by going in the store. We did a couple times during the COVID, the first few times, to have food order it online and then pick it up at the door, at the, you know, put it in your trunk. But we do 99.9% .9 shopping in person. Uh, thanks for doing the net tonight, Donna. KC9 TFM, back to net. Thanks, John. Next up, we have N9 CEA. Good evening, 
Donna, everybody else on the net. This is Lauren and I FDA down here in Omro. Well, as far as grocery shopping, I guess uh, we're kind of old back. We just uh, have never ordered it online. I know some of my relatives do. They seem to like it, but I have go and then just the, uh, do the traditional uh, go to the grocery store and pick up the groceries. Other than that, just a uh, nice evening to uh, sit here and uh, play radio. That is all I have. So everybody have a good rest of the week and a good weekend coming up. And I'll send it back to Net Control at 9 FDA. Next up, we have Rudy, KD9, RPW. Well, I'm going to see you in the next day. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we go get our food at the grocery store or the restaurant. So, either way, we go get it. Um, also, the other night, I used uh, Grab the Pump CR. I lifted in out a bunch of hands off the CIE. And it was pretty interesting to hear what they were talking about out there. And basically, it's the same thing to talk about here. But it was uh, kind of cool to look it in. Uh, back to that, 89 RPW. Thank you for that. Next up is Joel, WI4WD. Thanks for doing the net tonight, Donna. Hello to everybody on the net. We kind of got a very hybrid kind of way of doing it. We've we have we have ordered it and picked it up at the at, and have them you know put it in the car. I don't care for that um, vegetables. They always get wrong and then they'll substitute something, and I don't care for that. So normally when we go shopping, we just we just go inside. Uh, one of the things my wife does once in a while is she'll get a thing called Home Chef, which is basically uh, a meal unprepared delivered uh, for like two people. And I think she does that every now and then. She she kind of looks at the recipes and. Every now and then I think she'll have one of those delivered just because it gives you the instructions on how to do it. And she, she learns how to make it uh, so she can make it herself next time. So we do that once in a while as well. So I'll, every now and then we'll have one of those home chef things. Uh, but, but generally, um, I don't really care to have them pick out my food for me, especially vegetables. So what all I got? Back to that. Thanks, Joel. Next up is Bill and 9 tnw Hi, this is Bill and Kimberly in 19W. Uh, we do our own shopping. We go in the store, uh, both by and myself, and once in a while her and once in a while myself. <laughs> but we, we never order other than maybe an occasional pizza if we have company or something. But most of the time we just buy our food and my dear wife does the cooking, uh, which can become an issue after a while, once in a while. <laughs> Anyway, back to the net. Uh, thanks a lot, Donna, and 19 w Thanks, Bill. Next up is Roy, KC9, DLP. Good evening to everybody on the net. This is KC9, DLP, Roy here in Appleton. Thanks for doing the net tonight, Donna. Good job. Good question. Um, we are so old-fashioned, uh, we don't have anybody to pick out our food. Um, we go to the grocery store. I, I go a lot of times if we're in a hurry. Um, we put exercise with Sally with her condition. And sometimes um, we get extra time. She goes in, we get, she gets behind a grocery cart, and you know, it works like a walker for her gives her good exercise and it's a good place to to walk when you uh, when it's winter out. So but we do not have anybody else pick out the food and pick it up and go into the grocery store and do our own shopping and I am fortunate enough that I can leave her alone for periods of time and when I'm in a quick hurry to pick something up I can leave and go to the store and we'll, uh, pick it up. So don't have much delivery. I know there's, I didn't realize there were many people that had different ways of doing it. And I know they, they do pick, I see the uh, picking tapes. I do see them picking groceries, putting boxes, so there must be quite a few people that do it that way. Back to that control, Zodana at KC9, THF. This is KC9, DLP, Troy. Thanks, Roy. Next up is Mike, 
Thanks, Donna. Good evening to everybody on the net. Um, so, reference question, yeah, we shop. Uh, for one, I'm too cheap to pay for delivery, um, and we don't even do curbside. I mean, except at, like, Menards when you order something online and they don't really give you any choice. Um, I'm a little bit with the, uh, I want to pick out my own food, thank you very much, and I don't want any unanticipated uh, substitutions unless I'm making that decision. Um, do want to remind everybody that the FCARC Banquet, 24th, um, you can buy your tickets on the club website, but I absolutely have to know if you're coming um, a week before, because we got to make sure we got enough food. So with that, I'll turn it back to Nett from WI9, Mike, Mike, Mike. Thanks, Mike. And I might add that if you want to buy a ticket for it, uh, you can do that on the club website, fcarc.club. Uh, on the lower left side, uh, just put in your credit card and charge the meal, and that way we get a good count that way, too. Thank you. All right, next up we have N9FT, Fred. This is November 9, Foxtrot Tango. Good evening to everybody on the net. And um, <clears throat> a few years ago, I became disabled, so... Uh, we order our food, and um, my daughter uh, picks it up and once a week, and that's how we do it. Back to net. This is N9FD. Excellent. All right, next up is W9LEX. This is W9LEX. Thanks for running tonight tonight. Net tonight, Donna, and hello to everyone. Um, normally, I do the online ordering and the pickup there, so it uh, seems to save a lot of time, and uh, I don't really enjoy shopping too much. So, uh, back to next, 59 Lima Echo X-Ray. Thanks, Lex. All right, are there any, I, I guess we're at the bottom of the list now, so are there any other check-ins for this evening's net? Please call Net Control. This is Whiskey Nine here at Juliet Oscar. He's in Greenville. No traffic. All right, wonderful, Steve. Uh, w Nine CJL. Uh, if you needed the question again, it's do you shop for food or do you have it delivered? Good evening, Donna, and to the rest of the net. Correction on my call is Whiskey 9, Sierra, Juliet, Oscar. Otherwise, as far as the groceries, since COVID, um, we order online and do the curbside pickup. It saves a lot of time for me. I think my wife likes to walk around a bit more than I do, but, um, yeah, pretty good time saver, so that's the way we do it. Otherwise, everybody have a good week, and I'll turn it back to Net Control from W9SJF. Thanks, Steve. All right, I will call for the last time. Are there any additional check-ins for this evening's Net? Please call Net Control. I can uh, answer the question. I pretty much have everything delivered. I don't like spending the time, and it's easier to have them bring it all to me. Um, this was a very lively net tonight. Thanks, everybody, for really participating. Uh, before I close this net, I would like to encourage your use of the other two repeaters owned and operated by the Fox City's Amateur Radio Club, the 145330 megahertz and the 443650 megahertz, both with a PL tone of 100 hertz. If anyone listening is interested in joining the wonderful and exciting world of amateur radio, please go to the fcarc.club and the contact us page and leave us a message. The FCARC monthly general membership meetings are held on the third Monday of the month 
at Maplewood Middle School at 1600 Midway Road in Manassa. The meeting starts at 7 p.m. local time in the community room, door 17. Look for all the vehicles with the antennas. The talk-in frequency is this repeater, 146-760. I would like to remind everyone, though, that we do not have a meeting this month because we are having the banquet. And once again, please sign up for the banquet on the club website, and it's in the lower uh, left side of the page. So, for the latest information and updates on the Fox Cities Amateur Radio Club, visit the website at www.fcarc.club. I would like to thank all the stations for checking in tonight. We ask that you please return to the net next week. Same time and same frequency. This has been a Fox Cities Amateur Radio Club production. I will now end this net and return the repeater back to normal amateur use. 73 is going to have a great week from Donna, KC9THF. Whiskey 9, Sierra Juliet Oscar, WI9, Mike, Mike, Mike. Just wanted to let you know that your uh, your subtle humor did not go unnoticed. WI9, Mike, Mike, Mike. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'll look forward to running the net next week. So you have a good week. Hey Steve, WI9, Mike, 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 I'll be clear.